Hi, my name is Stephanie and this is Angela and we're here in the Hooters parking lot in Schaumburg and this is Mike and he's going to tell us about the car he brought today. Yeah, it's a 55 Studebaker, picked it up out of Iowa. I'm fixing all the stuff that didn't work when I picked it up. Oh, lovely. Chevy 350. <laughs> what year is it? 55, 1955. Oh, wow. Uh, they only made this model three years, 53, 54, and 55. Mm -hmm. The 53 and 54 have got a split grill. This one's got the one-piece grill. It's got a custom interior, Chevy rim. How long have you had it? Well, like four years. Four years? Go over back home. I'm just uh, fixing this. Were you looking for it or did you kind of just find it? I was looking for it. I looked for one in California. I didn't like it. I seen another one in Massachusetts. And mm -hmm. This one I found in uh, Iowa. Flew up there and made an offer and drove it home. Mm -hmm. Did you get it with this paint job or did yeah. you add this? No, that was all there. The pinch, oh, okay. They got pinstriping in the trunk too. And the pinstriping in the trunk has got Let's go the, the pinstripers uh, little insignia. If you look at the, uh, the pinstriping down here, right in the bottom, it's like Pinkston. That's his, uh, he was a pinstriper in Iowa. He did it up. In there. This is an awesome shape. Right. Curves. It's got. It's got more styling for the, in the 50s. Mm -hmm. You know, it came up, it, he was way, Lowy, who designed the Studebaker, is way ahead of his times on car. Oh yeah, I can see that. You know. I like how the inside, it has uh, the red detailing from the right. side. From the, uh, yeah, the seats, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all, uh, it's all, get, well it's got poppers, but you can see, it's all a little different, custom oh, dash. Sides. Oh. It's sleek. Yeah. Pretty modern for a. Would you say it was 55? 50, 55, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it, is it stick? No, it's automatic. No, automatic. It looks like stick, it's automatic. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got air and everything else. Are you considering changing anything? Is there something that you're saving up for? I might change the suspension. Okay. Put air air on there. Tell us about, about these rims. rims. Oh, they're Boyd Coddington. Uh, he was a famous uh, customizer. He passed away. His son's starting to take over, his son and his wife. But uh, those you can't get anymore. In fact, these little things here, you can't buy them from Boyd Coddington. Hmm. You have to get them, find somebody online that's got them. Oh, okay. And you, then you can purchase them. Otherwise, see a lot of stuff with old cars, you have to find people that have it because it just, you can't get it out of the catalog. What are these um, switches in there for? Up and down arrows? Yeah, oh, that's the power windows. Yeah. That's the power windows, up and down. Power windows. A little, a little different. Not, not, your, not your average. Uh, that's a lot of space back there, actually. Yeah, yeah. For a two door, that's a lot of space back there. Right. That's a little different. It's a little bit lower. Look at it. It's all white metal. Do you have a name for it? Nope. Why not? It's your baby? No, my, my wife called my avalanche a avier, but... Uh, so why did you bring this car and not that one? Because I sold it to my grandson. Oh! <laughs> That's nice of you. Yeah, you What's your favorite part of this car? I like the way it looks. I mean, it's not... It, it looks sleek, way before it's time. You know, it's not... You're not going to see too many of them. It's, it's unique, little, for sure. Right. And you might see... And I think one guy had a picture of one, so you might see two. You won't see too many of these. So did you have any other cars? When I was younger I did. 57 convertible, Chevy, 59 Pontiac Bonneville convertible. So is this more of a show car or do you drive this around ever? Yeah, I take it out on the expressway just to air it out. Do you let the white drive it? No, no. <laughs> Definitely she, not. She thinks it's too loud and stinks and gas. <laughs> stinks and gas. How is it on um, gas mileage? That's not bad. It's not bad. It purrs. Up in 60, 65, 70, it just purrs. It doesn't even feel like it's moving. But I just seen something, I think Jegs had it. They make an additive for cars now that you can put in the gas tank that you can it'll smell like blueberries, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. So it doesn't smell like gas. Wow. So you I can, didn't know that. You can add it, I just seen it, you can add it in the tank so you can smell like popcorn or bubble gum. <laughs> so it won't smell like gas Strawberries. anymore. Strawberries. That's so funny. That's a, I yeah. want that. Yeah. That's about it. What? 
Well, Mike, thank you so much for showing us your car. Okay, you're welcome. Make sure to describe, subscribe and watch all of our videos. Okay, we will do. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thanks for talking to me.